Hi friends, welcome back. I was gonna make a video about leveling up because ever since I got back from my vacation, I feel like I have leveled up my life. However, just moments ago, I was impressed to go in a totally different direction and to say something else instead. So I'm gonna talk about what I feel I'm supposed to talk to you about because I have to run with this. It could be, you know, something someone needs to hear. I think that we need to be super careful about the people that we allow into our lives. I know that's not anything, some grand revelation because we, you know, we know that it's very important the people who we surround ourselves with. However, I think that we grossly underestimate the power of influence that some people have in our lives that you know all people really I mean to greater d degrees but everyone somehow that you have in your life has some sort of influence and we have to be so careful that we're not allowing people into our lives who are sent of the enemy because when you are trying to fulfill your call in this world when you're trying to be the person that God wants you to be the devil will most certainly send people your way to distract you, to take you off your path. And we have to be constantly aware of this. We can't let our guard down. And just because someone appears to be really nice and wonderful, we can't allow them, we, we can't just let them come in our lives and disrupt what we're doing. We have to make sure that we protect ourselves, we protect our energy and our time. So I feel like that is so important and somebody out there needs to know this. I had to relearn this recently because we only have so much time on this earth. We have to be able to discern the season. So some people come into our lives for a season and maybe we're supposed to help them with something or they're there to teach us something but then afterwards we have to keep it moving right and i feel like this is a trap of the enemy a lot of times that we tend to get stuck in a certain place because oftentimes we might feel lonely we don't want to be alone and so we cling to people who really we need to let go of and so that they can move on with their life and do whatever God wants them to do. And we can do the same. And we tend to just want to cling to relationships a bit too long. And you know, I'm not saying like, I'm not talking about here about like your loved ones. You know, you have those loved ones, your, your close friends, your family, your, you know, those relationships are for life and you need to culture, to nurture those and cultivate that. Of course, we know we have that, but then there's other people in our lives that we meet, you know, when we're out and about through work, through social engagements, you know, church, whatever, just people that come into our lives that are on this more outer sphere. We need to be careful because when someone is trying to come into your life and they want to be a part of your life, you have to really vet them and go to God in prayer to see, you know, why, why do they want to be in my life? What, what do they want? And you know, if, if you really feel like the Lord is telling you, no, this is not a relationship that I want for you, then you got to keep it moving. And we can't, I'm the kind of person I don't like to hurt people's feelings. I want them to get a hint. I want them to understand like I'm not interested. I always think that people should pick up on your vibe, but I, I have noticed that not everyone is going to respect this because people want what they want. They don't really care about you a lot of times. If they have their mindset on they want you in their life, then that's all that they really see. And I have just learned in my life that I need to be more, I need to take more of an initiative and be firm 
in where my boundaries are because people do like to push those boundaries and then they like to guilt trip you as well when you say no you know it's like well what's what's wrong <laughs> and you just have to just let that roll off like water off a duck's back the thing about that I've noticed the thing about when when the enemy sends you someone who is not really meant to be in your life is how innocent sometimes it appears they appear like such a great person and they could be they could be a wonderful person you know it has nothing to do with that it's just that for you it's a trap because it's taking you off of your path so sometimes it can just be very deceiving because you know the person may seem really wonderful in a lot of ways but you know that they're not meant to be close to you and we have to continuously set that boundary keep them you know at arm's length as an acquaintance and keep it moving i'm not trying to tell you that you shouldn't care about people I think we should definitely care about people we should have time to help people if we believe that God wants us to minister to a person or say something that's going to help them you know in life then we we want to do that I, I definitely want to take an interest in people but we need to really be led of the Spirit though because I think that a lot of times it's a trap if you are a person that's really on your path and you're you're about you know your father's business you're going to have people sent of the enemy to try to take you off your path to waste your time those kind of things and you have to guard you you're gonna have to guard yourself from that and just keep that door closed as to who you allow into your inner circle so guys i don't know why i was gonna make a totally different video but this was just something that came to me just now that i think is a way that we're really falling short in our lives is that we allow too many people in who do not have our best interests at heart who don't who aren't part of our calling in life and it interferes the reason it's so important is because it really interferes with those divine connections that God has for you and it takes away from time that you could be spending strengthening those relationships that are meant to be in your life right so everything that's going to take away from that we're, we don't want that but it's just something that dropped in my spirit to talk about is that a lot of times people are falling into these traps with these relationships because it's comforting you know we don't want to feel lonely we don't want to we don't like to do things alone we like to have company and and it just draws you into relationships that are really not for you and you end up settling and it just it hurts both parties because it's it's just a waste of time for everyone really because you need to sometimes just be alone with yourself to get in tune with your own thoughts and what what's your higher self what is god telling you to do right so please keep this in mind because it's so important we want to be careful about how we spend our time and we want to be careful with whom we spend our time and the older i get the more important that is to me so I don't know, can you guys relate to this? Is this something I know, I'm sure you can all relate to it. We have to choose our friends wisely because they will highly influence our lives. We may not even realize the way that we are influenced by people. So anyway, guys, I, I guess I'll make the other video I had in mind to make next week. And I hope you will tune in to watch that one. It's going to be well i think it's going to be about leveling up but anyway if i get something else i'll let you know i hope that's been helpful until next time thanks for watching